from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Monday afternoon. Shenandoah residents are facing an increase in monthly garbage bills. Meeting Tuesday evening at 6 at City Hall, the Shenandoah City Council holds a public hearing on the proposed amendment to Chapter 106 of City Ordinances regarding garbage collection fees. City Administrator A.J. Lyman tells KMA News the fee hike is part of the contract the Council approved in June with Shenandoah Sanitation for solid waste collection. Also on the agenda, an update on the renovation of a property at 105 North Broad Street, Back in March, the council gave owners David Morse and Eric Brasington an extra six months to renovate the structure, formerly deemed a nuisance by the city. Firefighters from a host of KMA land departments were busy battling brush fires over the weekend. Departments from Shenandoah, Clarinda, Essex, College Springs, Westboro, and Tarkio assisted Coins firefighters in battling a bean field fire late Saturday afternoon. The Shenandoah Fire Department's Facebook page indicates numerous farmers with discs also assisted in battling the fire. Fire officials also credit PageCom for dispatching resources quickly in tackling large amounts of radio traffic and Montgomery County Emergency Management for using its drone to inspect hotspots and provide an overview of conditions. Fire officials are once again reminding residents that the current drought is making conditions ripe for field fires. In a recent interview with KMA News, Shenandoah Fire Chief Justin Marshall advised producers to clean and inspect their equipment. Obviously, you know, keep keep your combine or combines, you know, cleaned out you know, on a regular basis. I mean, especially now with the hot, dry conditions, I mean, it's always good anyway. Obviously, good routine maintenance, you know, check your bearings, check all your moving parts frequently before, during, and, and even after when you're done. Three, two, one. He also reminds farmers who must burn to notify their local sheriff's department or fire department as well. Renewed calls for a carbon capture pipeline ordinance are going out in Page County. Late last week, the Page County Board of Supervisors heard an update from Montgomery County resident Jan Norris on the latest with Summit Carbon Solutions' five-state Midwest Express CO2 pipeline. The first phase covers approximately 680 miles in Iowa, including Page County, as it runs to Green Plains' Shenandoah Ethanol Plant. Well, the Iowa Utilities Commission has approved a permit for the first phase of Summit's project. Norris's would still be wise to the county to consider a new zoning ordinance and road crossing policy for future projects. And KMA News continues its Meet the Candidates series, featuring candidates running in key races in the November general election. Today's segment features the Republican challenger in the Iowa House's 20th district race, James Wassell. You can hear the full interview with James Wassell with the web story at KMALand.com, as well as on our Morning Line page. KMA on track weather. Sunny this afternoon, highs in the low 70s, partly cloudy tonight, lows in the mid-40s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at KMALand.com. For KMA News, I'm Mike Peterson. So long, my friend.